Wicka Wicka, what's up guys, Sabertoons here, and today we're going to be playing Sonic Forces, but there's a twist. We are going to try to not use the homing attack and wire attack, so let's just jump straight into it. Okay, so the rules of this challenge are very simple. We just cannot use the homing attack and wire attack in the Sonic Forces stages. Now, we're not going to be playing any of the classic Sonic stages because you don't use homing attack in those, so we're just going to be playing the Sonic the Avatar, and the Duo, uh, stages. So first, let's see which Avatar I have. Um, let's change that one. Bring it to that one. Alright, so let's do this. Alright, so stage one, Lost Valley. Wow, these take a while to load. Okay, here we go. Now, honestly, Sonic Forces, not a lot of people really like this game, but then there are some people who like it, and some people that have mixed feelings about it. I mean, people say that it's like, it's all rushed, so, okay, so also, I'm going to try to mainly use, like, the boost, so I don't, like, accidentally use the homing attack. Let's just, let's just boost our way. Boost is life. Honestly, so far this is pretty easy. So, anyway. Mainly... So, okay, so I forgot to mention that, um, you... That we are just going to be skipping the boss stages because you kind of have to use the homing attack, but any of the boss stages, basically, we are going to skip. Yes, indeed, we are. I honestly have no idea what I'm saying. <laughs> Okay, stage one, complete. A rank? Yeah, I can see that. Uh-huh, okay, hurry up. Okay, so I'm not sure if I'm planning to do the whole game, or just a few stages. Well, let's see, there are basically... So there's roughly somewhere around 25 stages, I'm gonna say, so we're going to be playing the, so we're gonna be playing five stages in each episode, how about that? Yeah. Alright, so next one, stage two, Spaceport. Let's -a go! Oh wait, that's Mario's thing. <laughs> okay. So... And also, the wire attacks that are done automatically do not count. You know what's really great about this? The Wisp Bond. You can just attack without pressing A. Yeah, we're obviously not going to do that. So you just... Just spam the Wisp Bond. That easy. And you think we can jump off the ledges? Nope. But yeah, people mainly don't like Sonic Forces because they feel like the game is rushed, and honestly, I can see what they mean. And also, there's just a bit too many 2D segments. I can I can agree. And also, it's really short. And especially the levels are really short. Seriously, you can beat these things in like three minutes. And maybe even shorter than that. Yeah, let's go. Come on. And just casually jump. I just realized we could have used the lightning wisp on there. And... Hey, look at that. A bump in the road. Alright, so we're gonna see if we can just kind of, like, jump to it. And... Looks like we cannot. So, already, stage two is not possible to be beaten without using the wire attack. Okay, stage three, though, is a classic Sonic stage, so we're gonna skip that. Stage four, Prison Hall, is the one we're doing next, so let's do it. Let's see if we can actually get through this one as the rookie. <clears throat> oh, here we go. But you gotta admit, the Sonic Forces soundtrack slaps. 
Especially the Infinite theme song. Beautiful. I mean, I'm not that big of a fan of rock music, but the Sonic songs... Ooh, man. No, nope. Sonic says, don't use the homing attack. What am I doing in my life? Oh, nope. Ah. Nope. Jump. And... There we go. You gotta admit, this level stage is... Like, the music is slapped. I'm just, I'm just gonna stop talking so y'all can listen to it. Vector, shut up. Oops. Look at this. I don't even have to use the whip attack or whatever it's called. Alright. What am I doing with my life? Alright. Stage four complete. So that is three stages that we've done. And two more, we got a successful video. Kinda. But you gotta admit, the plot to this game is pretty good. Alright, so stage five versus Zavok, that is a boss stage. So we're gonna skip that one too. Stage six, egg gate. Alright. Let's let's -a go. Let's let's -a get it. Okay, so Sonic Forces, besides being short, I think it's a really good game. One of the problems I have with it isn't really, like, the game itself, but, like, the fact that Shadow and the Rookie never really interact with each other. Like, the only real interaction that they've had is, like, Shadow kind of just, like, going, hmm, at the Rookie whenever everyone else is congratulating him for saving the whole entire planet from burning... And I just spoiled some of that, by the way. Oh, and also, if you guys play back, you'll see that I just boosted my way through it when I was on the rails. So, that's that's one way to stop yourself from using the homing attack. Such a big brain here. Meow. I feel like the Sonic Spring is the most iconic, besides the homing attack noise and the spin dash noise... I feel like, like, the spring itself has the most iconic sound from the whole entire Sonic series. Listen to that. Alright, let's, let's get past this. Huh, huh, how funny. Ah. Hey, I survived. Slip. Imagine just cruising through space. You know, honestly, Sonic and the Rookie flying through space on one of the shuttles would have been a great mini game. That's, that's another thing that I don't really like. There's no mini game. Hey guys, this is Editor to me. I was watching over the video and I just realized... I did a homing attack from that, because a homing attack is where you jump in the air and then press B. So therefore, I did a homing attack, which means that this stage is, in fact, impossible. Okay, moving on. Alright, so stage 7, Arsenal Pyramid, is the fifth stage that we're going to be playing today. So, let's do this thing. Stage 7, Green Hill, Arsenal Pyramid. I also like how they turned Green Hill into, like, Sand Hill. Oh, that was nice. That was pretty funny. Look at that. It's all, it's all sand. Hold on. Look at this. Look at what they did. 
Oh, okay, first of all, look at those. Look at those physics. That's that's some good attention to detail, even though this game was like rushed. And also, anyways, as I was saying, these flowers are just freaking dead. Anyways, as I was saying, boost time. Just demolish all of the enemies. No need, no need for that wisp or wire attack. We can just use those ring thingies. And we can just kind of boost our way through that whole thing. Come on. So the world, what we can do. You next to me, now I'm next to you. Push me out through until the battle's won. Nothing to us. And we each other, we put our trust. Standing united. <clears throat> Anyways. Oops. Yeah, that's my bad. Okay, we can kind of just... Mm. Yeah, that, that didn't work, did it? I did not think that through. Also, I'm... Nope! Hmm. And I died. Not to worry, because we can just do this. Observe. Let me actually figure out what I was doing. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Look at my skills. Okay. Let's see if we can just jump to that. Come on. <laughs> no, we, we cannot jump to that. Okay. Hold on. Hold on, let me try something. You know what? Since we have the speed when you collect rings kind of thing going on... I bet you that we could jump far enough if we build up enough momentum. So let's get over there. Skip that. Okay, come on. Oh, come on! Okay, so it seems like you cannot pass this thing without beating, without doing a wire attack. So that's our fifth level that we're gonna try. Thank you all for watching. I think we're doing okay. I mean, most of the levels we were able to complete, it was some of them, it was just the distance between the stage and the thing you were also about to jump to. That's the only problem. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, I am not really good with outros. I really should have planned one. Uh, yeah. Sabertooth is out. Bye.